When I was 23, I had a religious ceremony with hundreds of witnesses, but it turns out that according to the law, I wasn't actually married at all. Healing and accountability. Okay, you've got traumas that you went through. Islamnet is raising funds to establish a masjid and community center in Norway and they urgently need your support. This donation will be a sadaqah jari for you because every person that comes a step closer to Allah through your donation, you will inshallah be reaping the reward. Click the link and donate what you can. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters and dear friends. So leaving off the controversy that happened between Zaid and our sister, subhanAllah, things have come to light, context has been brought in and sadly, like I said, even though Zaid was wrong and he should apologize, the manipulation, I'm not going to say intentional or unintentional, was crazy. Yeah, I mean, from the sister's side to make it out seem like whatever But let's pull that to a side Let's talk about the Dawah F boys Yes, us, me, Mohammed Nijab, you know um, And you know, I, I mentioned, um, you know, some other people And they were like, oh no, we're not talking about them We're talking about you guys I was like, oh, thank you very much oh, So he was talking about us uh, And coming from who this French feminist um, Muslim uh, sister, you know uh, Mariam Francis or whatever her name is for that matter Somebody who was known from the get-go From her early days when she came to Islam Wearing the hijab mm, somewhat correctly to to going to turban to taking it off that's her journey i was gonna have a go out for that i would recommend it to watch my video that i had with the saudi girl when it came to the hijab um that's still on the sea from uh, me to her however brother and sisters who is she what do we know about her well Mohammed hijab asked some simple questions to her you know why was she behaving in such a manner instead of replying and explaining her situation why she jumped to conclusion just many sisters did uh, one of them also being our sisters from solace i'm not going to give a name i have nothing personal against you my dear sister uh, alhamdulillah i have nothing personal against you but you also jumped to the conclusion and many other people here um i am holding myself back to name who are still defending the sister yes some of you guys know who you are why are you not coming up and now clarifying and i want to salute all the sisters in the comment section because not all the sisters are the same alhamdulillah calling that sister out for again the manipulation now here's a video we're going to watch of this french feminist why is she so eager like the french government to come and change the muslim world and how we do things yes have you got the white man syndrome to save us you know muslims you know from uh, the shackles of the sharia and you want to come and uh, give us the freedom watch this video where she was involved in a document Documentary, yes, where she's accusing all these dawah guys, we are F boys, etc. We mess around, we play around. But when the truth came out and context was brought into it, we're not saying Zaid was absolutely innocent. This matter, let's make it clear. Yeah, let's be just here. Yes, he he had to should apologize, etc., which he did, and we made the sister feel. But the sister's manipulation and she, she made it out to be, why are you not coming out? Our sister's from Solace, our uh, sister French, French feminist sister, yes. Uh, why are you not coming out, Mariam? Yes, why are you not coming out and saying, you know what, I'm sorry for jumping to assumptions. Here is a video clip in a channel 4 documentary about Muslim marriages watch for yourself to see what we've been dealing with God knows for the past how many years and it is coming out now why because she has a personal trauma because of a divorce that she went through and now she's taking out on the whole community and she's become a super extreme uh, radical feminist these days a lot of people reject marriage but this film isn't about people who don't want to get married it's about women who believe that they were married only to find out that they actually weren't and what we found is that this is an issue which mainly affects Muslim women have you been married in the UK? Yes, I did. Okay. Went to university, be brought up in the UK and believe that. Silly me. With devastating consequences for some. I've dealt with women who've been left with children on the street. They've literally come in front of the mosque saying, my husband has just thrown me out. I can't prove that I'm married to him, I've got kids. So we've carried out the first ever major survey of Muslim women's attitudes to marriage in Britain. The results showed that the marriages of a high proportion of Muslim couples are not legally recognised. When I was 23, I had a religious ceremony with hundreds of witnesses. And it turns out that according to the law, I wasn't actually married at all. So guys, you saw that for yourself, subhanAllah. So you can see she is now basically making it seem as if the Islamic marriage, the nikah, is not a valid nikah. And is this, as if the Western system uh, is more superior to the nikah that's given. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave rights to the Muslim woman long, long, long time ago, subhanAllah. This attitude where she's just come and why, you can you can see it. You can clearly see she even mentioned herself that she went through something like that. It's trauma. You've gone through trauma. I'm sorry the trauma that you've gone through. But this is what we see with a lot of single mothers, not all of them, and a lot of divorced sisters. They all, for some odd reason, suddenly wake up and become trauma coaches or coaches or marriage counsellors for some odd reason do healing like sister soul said in the bitter truth show healing and uh, accountability okay do some healing you've got traumas that you went through no problem we men go through traumas as well i know many brothers who have been broken by their ungrateful wives who are taking the kids away from them not letting them see the kids and many other things okay we do not come and blame every single sister and blame them and put them all into the same category just because you've gone through a specific trauma why are you now on a rampage to at every opportunity 
opportunity attacking everybody. And you know what's very interesting and bizarre is that in the comment section on my recent TikTok video, I was basically being told the following for my couple of sister comments there. Okay, some of them, yeah. Basically, they were saying that because they don't like the way we do dawah, I don't know what that means, by the way, yeah. They don't like our style or whatever it is, or, you know, I invite individuals who I question and challenge, but for some odd reason, just because I invite them, don't care. So because they don't like the style we do dawah, just listen to this carefully. Because they don't like how we do dawah, it means that if any kind of scandal comes out about us, for example, God forbid me, Allah protect my marriage, alhamdulillah, because most of you sisters cannot be the dust underneath my wife's feet. So if my issue, I had an issue with my wife and my wife happened to come out for some reason and said, <laughs> Um, you know, uh, arguments saying Ali in our marriage was something, just anything. They're like, see, we knew it. We knew he was an, uh, a misogynistic abuser. He was beaten. And my wife would be crying and saying, you know what? You know, sorry, I was just shedding tears because I miss my husband. They'd be like, oh, oh, damn. This is how perverted some of you sisters are. Wallahi, you are looking and hunting for our mistakes so much so when that sister came out of that information about Zaid, misinformation, manipulation, um, not seen on purpose, gaslighting, whatever you want to call it, everybody just tried. Trumped. These dawa guys and these dawa boys and the dawa. Why, where was it coming from? Because they didn't like our style of dawa and the things that we say, which is from Islam, not from ourselves. That's why that justifies that if something or anything comes out about them, we will jump on it and spread it like wildfire because we don't like the way they do dawa. You guys are tapped in the head. Some of you sisters are tapped in the head. And for that sister who's doing a video now clarifying, oh, you sister, you are the one who came and said, oh, another dawa. Uh, da, da, da. And then, then you have to take a video now. Why are none of you guys coming out and now saying we are sorry for jumping on the accusation and slander why has that sister our dear sister um rayana i think that's her name why is your video still up my dear sister and for this french toast feminist yes she's a french toast feminist mariam whatever her name is for that matter yes we don't need your french values your western values do not need it in islam come to islam fully embracing it or don't that's totally up to you but just because you had a bad experience and let me guess your ex-husband was a narcissist a gaslighting manipulating evil man i bet you're watching something like, yeah oh my gosh how do you know ali for some odd reason all your ex-husbands are like that take a Accountability. If a brother comes to me and says my wife was this, I'll say, brother, hold on a second, man. I need a full story. You know, what about you? I mean, what kind of person are you? I'm not going to come and now believe that every time, if, if a group of brothers keep coming to me and saying my ex-wife this, I'm going to say, brothers, hold on a second. All of your ex-wives are evil and you guys are angels? I'm so sorry. I'm going to take you guys to account, yeah? What are you doing to make this woman feel like this? We as men take each other to account. So this is a message to this foul-mouthed, French toast, feminist woman who is calling us thou guys F-boys. Yes, have some shame. Okay, we don't need your French values, your Western and French toast values to come into Islam and try to dilute it. We have Islam and you are also known to attack prominent classic scholars in a video which I will tag inshallah brothers and sisters. So we know what this woman is exactly about and when she is challenged even by Muhammad Ijab by asking questions, we get a block. Okay, so her emotional, as you can see, her emotions are all over the place, up and down. Uh, inshallah, it will get steady and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala heal your heart and don't allow your traumas to inshallah call, be a means to blame everybody, paint everybody with the same brush and call us dawa boys, F boys. You are a shameless vile mouth, foul mouth woman uh, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you that's all I have to say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I'm going to leave some uh, inshallah links you guys can watch the documentary that she was in inshallah and it says a lot about herself Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said whoever builds a masjid for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah will build for him a similar house in Jannah on that day where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that our books will be given and every little atom weight of good deed you've done will be there. And imagine you see a mountain and you're like, what a lucky person. Which righteous person? And Allah says, this is for you. For me? Yes. What did I do? You allowed people to pray. You built a masjid. I never had the money to build a masjid, oh Allah. You helped. You gave towards it and Allah gives you the reward of as if you've built it. Donate now, guys, and do not delay and share the video for extra rewards.